Hi, my name is Darius. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm testing another smartphone, OnePlus Nord One. I'm gonna check the video quality, take some pictures, see if it's good for vlogging. I'm just about to pick another car for my review, MG. So it should be a good one. Coming up. Okay, so this is a primary uh, 32 megapixel selfie camera and it's pretty impressive because Nord 1 can actually shoot 4K on the selfie, which is pretty awesome. I was testing Nord 2 a couple of days ago and sadly it doesn't have that option, so not bad at all if you do loads of vlogging. Now let's switch to ultra wide angle and see the difference. So this is the ultra wide angle and you're gonna get a loads of people in or any objects in your frame. So very, very nice feature. There isn't many phones these days actually have two lenses uh, in the front and the quality seems to be doing a pretty good job. So not long until I get to MG Garage and Crew to pick my car for 24 hours test drive. So it should be a good one. There you are, that's the car. So we're gonna have fun driving this for, for a day. Really looking forward, it's a nice family car. We're just about to go for a little trip. Let's go. Okay, we are about to go to the park now. So this is ultra wide angle, shoots 4K, 30 frames per second, and stabilization is pretty awesome. Wow. This is the main sensor. And I didn't even switch the steady mode on. And remember, uh, Nord 1 has optical image stabilization, which is pretty great for the price now, because you can actually buy a lot cheaper than the Nord, uh, Nord 2. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, smash that like button if you haven't already. I will be comparing this uh, OnePlus Nord with OnePlus Nord 2 because I've got the feeling uh, the Nord 1 is going to be as good as the Nord 2. But no, dynamic range is decent, quality is alright, so I'm really pleased with this phone. Awesome. <music> Okay, so this is a stable mode. Let me do some running to show you stabilization. Just to remind you guys, I don't do any external microphone or do any uh, color grading on my footage. So all you can hear and see is actually coming from this device. One plus one doesn't do macro. However, I'm gonna challenge myself and try to get some macro shots. Call me up.
hope you enjoyed this episode. I think the Nord 1 is a pretty decent device to be honest. It has some really nice features such as 4K on the front facing camera, uh, optical image stabilization, shoots some decent pictures too, so I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.